Do you want a heart to save your life? Or do you want a Mr. Beast rap Tesla? I would literally kill myself for a Tesla. Good boy. Okay, people, just a little bit of a heads up. Um, I've, you've probably noticed that there aren't a lot of lights in the background. That's because one of my lighting gear is not working. So I have to work with what I have got going on. So we're just going to leave it at that. I am tired. I had a very long day at work. Plus, I had a brutal workout. I'm hungry. Let's just dominate this through. All right? Let's do it. Hey everybody, this is Atticus the Death Meller, and uh, this, I'm a little bit late on the subject, but I have to put my two cents on the subject. Now, I think all of you are familiar with who this individual is right here. If you do not know who he is, if you're living under a Dwayne Johnson, he is a man by the name of Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast is a uh, well-known, very young millionaire or billionaire just let me know how much money he makes because i do know that he is a very very rich guy that does a lot of crazy shit on youtube he's got on a lot of heat from the past week so what has why is everyone getting pissed off over mr beast so as our lord and savior varg beakerness take it away let's find out now again mr beast is a self-made man he has actually used the uh, system to youtube to its good use to make him as the uh, rich man that he is and uh so he's done a lot of like crazy stuff he has his own chocolate brand he has his own fast food chain which i actually um did order something off of uber eats and uh it's not that bad it's just it's i mean it's it's well it's pretty good looking but it's just it's decent fast food. Mr. Beast has gone into a lot of fire over a video that he made not too long ago where he uh, basically um, cured a thousand people of their blindness. He uh, made a video where he cured a thousand people of their blindness. Now, I did not know that this could happen, but as I, and yes, I watched the video myself so that I can actually have an honest opinion on what I am talking about. Watch it all the way through. And uh, I, I did not know about this, but it's a 10 minute op your operation where they take out the milky stuff out of the uh, parts of your eyes that basically make you blind. So I watched it. Parts of it was actually pretty wholesome. Not going to lie. Very wholesome. Um, it was it was a really good thing like i mean obviously this guy who made so much money went out of his way to basically um cure a thousand people most of them who were fans of him growing up curing them of their blindness giving out ten thousand dollars one for like college for you know helping this one uh kid to save up for his uh, student tuition it's, it's it's very very wholesome stuff and you know it's 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 good. How'd it go? <laughs> good. Yeah? Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Take your time, no pressure. Everything looks so more clear. Yeah. <laughs> to make this day even more special, since you're about to graduate high school and go to college, we wanted to give you fifty thousand dollars to put towards college. I didn't even think this was real. Like I'm waiting to wake up. <laughs> oh my god. And you know, it's just like, wow, a guy that has made millions of dollars, a rich person is actually uh, doing what all the fucking lib shards, the socialists, the tankies want to do. Except, um, everyone is pissed over that. It's crazy because like this, this dude went out of his way to do something good and yet everyone shat all over him and this is actually a tweet that mr beast made in which he went around saying twitter rich people should help others with their money me okay i'll use my money to help people and i promise to give away all my money before i die every single penny twitter mr beast bad 
I mean, it's obviously Twitter, so what can you fucking expect? I, I thought that um, watching the video, seeing some of the videos that were made by some black guy and Optimus, I watched two of their videos, made some very good points on the subject. But it's, it's so crazy that he did a good thing. A person who actually made a lot of money working around, he didn't get, he didn't, it wasn't like stuff off of his parents or anything like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. He was a self-made man and he decided to basically, um, you know, do something good for once. Like for instance, Dolly Parton, where she has like her own theme park and a lot of her employees get, um, they pay off their tuitions for going to college. So... <laughs> I mean, it's funny because, I mean, all you motherfuckers hate all the billionaires except for Dolly Parton, so why Mr. Beast? Why, why that? What I find so absolutely astounding is that these people flip the fuck out over Mr. Beast doing a genuinely good thing. Meanwhile, there there is fucking crickets. There is fucking crickets over corporations that do way fucking worse than Mr. Beast has ever done. Like... Nestle, for instance, I have a video down in the description below on the series, um, the channel Into the Shadows, where um, there is the Nestle baby formula scandal, which, uh, oh boy, just, oh god, it's, it's really fucked up. Not to mention Nestle takes water from local communities and then bottles it for a fucking price. And don't get me fucking started on chocolate companies. That are like being basically profiting off of child labor in countries like the Democratic Republic of the Congo for their chocolate. Yeah, that's a thing. I mean, like, you, th <coughs> especially like, you know, the Democratic Republic of Congo, like, it's been through a whole lot. I mean, the Congo Free State and all that. It's still getting fucked in the ass, like, to this millisecond as I'm making this video right now. Like... God damn, it is a mineral resource rich land, but it's so fucking poor because it's just exploited by every country and every corporation and warlord ever fucking imaginable. And you have these companies doing all this shit. I mean, yes, you have fucking Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos as well. I mean, why why not bring them over there? It's it's just like peep again, these people have been conditioned to Basically hate rich people. There, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just like you just hate them because they're rich. And I guarantee fucking to you, I'm just going to say this right here, right now. If one day, if Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk decide, you know what? We're going to bankrupt ourselves because you guys keep bitching, pissing, and moaning on how fucking filthy rich we are. We're just going to give all of our money, all of our entire savings, all of the other stuff that we've saved up. We're just going to give it to all you guys. I guarantee fucking to you that all you motherfuckers would still be ungrateful. I guarantee fucking to you that. Also, another thing. If you guys were in the same length as Mr. Beast. Now, this is a spicy take. I'm pretty sure that all of you would not do the same as Mr. Beast did. Because Mr. Beast did it out of the kindness of his heart. Now, <laughs> I know that a lot of you people would not do just that. You will not do it because everyone, everyone, when they're given that amount of money, they're not going to do all that charity fucking shit. No, no, no one, no one is. I mean, obviously if I had that amount of money, I'm saving it up. I'm putting it all in savings and I'm going to like give some huge lot, loads of money to my family, all that stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm using it mostly just to keep myself afloat. That's, I wish I had that money, but no, I don't. I, I mean... I'm a selfish person, but I like to help out my family and shit. Like this whole sh bullshit kind of reminds me of that episode of South Park where like all the rich people are moving into South Park and then like, you know, the Smiths in general. And then, you know, like they, they all fucking scare them off dressing up as like Klansmen. And I remembered on that ending of the episode that Mr. Garrison says this line right here. That's great. And now we can sell all their homes and become millionaires. What? Yeah. But then you had us do all that for nothing. Don't you see? If you get rich selling these homes, then there will still be rich people in South Park. Yeah, you'd become what you hate. Because I guarantee fucking to you, if you guys topple down, eat the rich, and you gain all of their wealth, I guarantee fucking to you, you would all be just like them. I guarantee fucking to 
all that. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Duh, I wouldn't do that. No. You would do the exact same fucking thing. No question. No doubt about it. That is the nature of the human condition as we know it. But I will say a thing. There is one thing I have to heavily criticize Mr. Beast for. And it's this fucking thumbnail right here. What the fuck am I? It's this. It's like Mr. Beast is going all like, there, there. Keep it going, buddy. And the kid's all like, oh, oh, oh. Like he's, like he's just ejaculating from a good wanking sesh. My God, who greenlit this? Like, my God. That's all I really got to say about this. So, I mean, Mr. Beast did a good thing. Though a lot of people, like, crucified him because, I mean, the red. But, Yeah. So what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on the situation? Did you like this video? Did you dislike this video? Have you watched the video yourself? Do you still think that you want to eat the rich? Do you want to claim all of Mr. Beast's money and then spend it on your own selfish lifestyle? Leave it all down on the comments below and stay tuned for more videos to come. I also forgot to mention this while recording my video. I completely left this off, but I have to bring this up as well, so... I've noticed that there were some people that were going around saying that Mr. Beast was the Antichrist because um, he cured people's blindness. And it's just like, bruh, I, I, just, I just don't know, man. I mean, th then, then again, like when I was in high school, I thought that Barack Obama was the Antichrist. Yeah, I was, I was really fucking weird back then. But no, no, um... The fact that we have a uh, cure for blindness, that'll be just cured for 10 minutes. I mean, this this shit has been around since before, um, you know, Mr. Beast made that video. So he's not really the Antichrist. I mean, all y'all Christians are weird. Then again, back then when I was, you know, Catholic, I was weird too. Like, goddamn. Not everything has to be about, like, Book of Revelations or anything of that, of that ilk. Just, just shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Without further ado, ladies and gents, I am Atticus the Death Meddler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Links are down in the description below. Keep it metal. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have an excellent and blessed day, y'all. Skull!